Sup people on the YouTube, this is here and I'll be commenting over this match between playing as the Protoss at the let's say you know, that's like, it's like 1 o'clock position, it's Millennium's Edel playing as the Protoss and on the let's say, um, let's say, let's say 5 5 like f uh, that's actually a 7-ish position it's combat easy and he's also playing as Proto, so a PvP here. And PvP in this game doesn't mean player versus player, since this entire game is almost player versus player. But it means Protoss versus Protoss. Of course, you probably already figured it out. If you didn't, then, then I, yeah, and I have nothing to say to you anymore. I'm sorry. But yeah, this match is part of the MSI Pro Cup 13 MSI. That's uh, the MS for Millennium. It's like a the cup like sponsored or something or created by millennium and like they do that once a month apparently so it's a monthly game and it's actually a best of three and this map if you're wondering is the map daybreak with like stuff here the not very possible forge fast expand of course you can still do it not there they're probably gonna do it but it's like just just look at that just look at how big that big green cube is it's that's a lot of distance between them. So Forge Fest expense really difficult, but they're not going for that. Just going for gateway. And of course in mirror matches in the beginning the builds are almost different. Instead of like having some kind of timings like uh Edel getting the gas a little bit earlier than easy, but still no difference whatsoever. Like just look at these gateways, they're almost identical. Edel going for that pylon there, while EZ also going for the pylon, but just a little bit later. EZ is a little bit behind there, not that important, but... Or actually, maybe it is important. If, like, if Edel wins this match, I'm just all gonna blame it on EZ being very slow. <laughs> it's not actually slow, these are, like, seconds he's doing, so it's, like, maybe three seconds behind or something. But I'm still gonna blame it on the seconds, because every second matters in this game. And you know that if you ever played this game... Easy and Edel both getting out the zealots. Zealot first there, so not waiting for that stalker first, or maybe even sentry first. Since sentries can wall off, I think with full energy, they can like wall off this ramp with two force fields, I think. Takes two. And no massive units so early, so they can defend pretty easily since massive units do break through force fields. Uh, now EZ actually got his warp gate a little bit earlier, but. It's also gonna depend on the chrono boost, which one is gonna get out er earlier. Is Adel now building? Adel is actually building a second cell out there instead of a stalker like EZ does. Already the little differences. Little differences, of course, matter a lot in this match, or in this entire game, actually. Like, a little differences can win or lose you a game. Cool stuff there, does Chrono boost out another Stalker? Probably gonna try to get some very early arrests or pressure on the Edel, since Edel is pretty known. Or if he's like known, he's pretty known for um, doing it like staying a little bit back, not being that aggressive, getting his macro up. He's apparently a great macro player. But of course that makes him very vulnerable for rushes like EZ likes to do. Or just, he just does it. He just does it. Don't know if he likes it to do, but he does it a lot. And he does it well. Another invisible... Why are there mineral fields here? Like, seriously? This is just so weird. They're like invisible. You can still see the fog of war, so you can like guess where they are, but... Even the waypoint thing is really bugged there. Man. But I'm still gonna commentate over it like it's just a normal, like an ordinary game. There he goes. He's visible again. These minerals... There's nothing here. Like, what the H? Everything is out of position. Seems like they're behind this map in there. Little block there. Let's get it out of the way. There we go. Uh, just l let's look at the production tab for now. Both gonna go for the expansion. A leveling in a little bit earlier, but that's just because EZ is building a lot bigger army. Also got us two sentries coming out. Well, Adel, let's look at the units. Actually, Adel also got us two sentries, but he did get an observer instead of the third sentry. Is it a little differences? Is it a little differences? Adel already having a sent, already having his immortal out, building another sentry, getting another sentry. Well, EZ still has to build his robotics bay there. Has built more gateways than Adel. 
Like, easily likes to do this. He, like, b goes heavy gateway units, while Adol, he goes more like immortal robotics bay play instead of full gateway. gateway. And, of course, they can work in your advantage since those guys, those immortals. Let's see if I can find one. Well, it doesn't matter, but those immortals, I think a stalker does unupgrade it, like... Well, that's a salad. Like, it does up unupgraded 8 damage, but the shields of the immortals, they, like, block at least 10 damage. The max damage you can do in an immortal is 10. So it's actually kind of useless versus... Oh, there's Observer Edo getting taken out there. But it's pretty useless to use an immortal versus... Um, Versus a zealot, but these stalkers, they do 14 damage versus armor, and immortals are armored. So if you use those against immortals, that's gonna cost them 4 damage, and they just do their normal damage. So it's a lot less effective. No Adel moving out with his immortal sentry and zealot army. A couple of zealots there. A lot of there's a lot of sentries too, only one stalker there. And they're up against EZ's invisible and well they're not very stalker heavy. A little bit more zealot heavy, but Ah, there they are. They're coming out of the shadows, coming out of the invisible field. Invisi field. Okay, I don't know, uh, nine minutes. I shouldn't have actually showed that, but I'm kinda yeah, yeah. Just it's just some stuff. Hardened shield, there you go. Maximum of 10 damage while the immortals have shields. So of course if you take down the shields, they won't have that hardened shield. But if they do have the shield, there's going to be like 4 damage less. And the Starcraft 2, that's that's a little bit of damage. Like some decently nice damage. This easy zealot, this scouting zealot will know when any attack is going to come in. There you go, Adel going for the war prison. Might try to use it to like reinforce his army when he's going up this ramp and try to reinforce it here or something. Or he could use it to use some kind of weird drops. There you go. Oh my god, this could actually be in a battle. This could be a really epic battle. They're actually all invisible. Oh, this is one of the worst battles I've ever seen. Nope, I don't think... Like, hearing the sounds... Nothing too much is happening here. They are doing some damage, but... Not doing that much. Yeah, it does use his war prism to reinforce his units going for those stalkers. So you get an observer, and this observer will spot everything Adel does and has. An easy going for that Colossus. That's gonna be a uh, decently nice counter. Decently nice counter. Stalkers just backing off this one zealot here. Chilling out. Easy also has a war prism. Actually, Easy is going for the gravity beam. Oh, he actually dropped in his main base. Adel used a drop. He's gonna kill off a lot of probes there. These units, they got no upgrades whatsoever, but... Also, EZs, they haven't got anything. Oh, this could be it. Yeah, I think I think this is actually it. I think EZ lost there. I think EZ... I think this could be it for EZ. Adel's in his base, kill everything. There you go, GG. Sorry I didn't pay attention there, but... I was I was being talked to, so... Sorry for that. But you saw the battle a little bit, even though they were invisible here. And EZ would have definitely won. That Colossus getting taken out immediately when it came out, but... Yeah. So, thanks for watching this match. Me commentating over... Me, Desuban, commentating over this match between Combat EZ... And Millennium's Adel, and Millennium Adel winning. Yay, go Adel. Millennium is cool. Again, the wrath of Millennium on me once again. Like when I made a mistake, I thought it was Mo, but it was actually Millennium. Well, never mind. Thanks for watching this match. If you like this video, then just press the like button under the video or on top or somewhere. And if you like my commentaries, then just press the subscribe button above this video and you'll get notified of my uploads. Well, thanks for watching. And, yeah. This was me, this has been. This has been. Out. Out.